Welcome to the Padi demonstration of fingerprint EVM using Raspberry Pi 0 2W. So in this one we have interfaced the R303A fingerprint module along with these control buttons. In this these two control buttons are used to voting purpose and storing purpose. And when we press these two at a time then the total fingerprints will be formatted from this fingerprint module. And these four buttons to select the parties. So here we have coded the Raspberry Pi 0 2W with four parties party 1 2 3 4 and this is for the results purpose it's only meant for election officer and in our project we provided the election officer permission for the id number 1 those who registered first id number then he will become the election officer he can vote as well as he can uh, get the results and the so called results will be displayed on the lcd screen and the continuous status also and also finally the results will be sent to the email id so we have uh, stored one email id to the email id we are going to send the results in such a format like in this format so we are going to get the results along with the subject and a date and a sector number and how many parties are uh, got the how many votes and also who is the winner so here we have interfaced the lcd module at pin number uh, 17 27 22 9 10 11 pins and these five control buttons at 5 19 16 32 26 and these two control buttons at pin number 23 and 24 so here we are using this as a breadboard in order to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout this inputs and output modules so here we have uh, coded the like total instructions inside this memory card which is 32 gb ultra uh, sd micro sd card so which uh, come with a python inbuilt and we have coded the uh, python uh, code in the python language inside this so after loading the os manually from the laptop and then we have inserted that to this one and then we have connected the micro hdmi to hdmi converter to the hdmi screen and we have connected the keyboard and mouse at this otg slot so this is the otg and this one is the power supply micro usb so to the otg slot we have connected the my uh, wireless keyboard and mouse or usb keyboard and mouse from there we have coded the uh, so called instructions in python language so now let us see the demonstration so this adapter uh, we are going to provide the power supply to the system by providing to the device input to that and it will get the provide as the 5 volts output so before switch on the kits, we need to provide the internet service for the Raspberry Pi 0.2W to send the emails. So for that, enable the hotspot and change the hotspot name to Project 5180, all are small letters, I am repeating, without any space. All are small letters, without any space. And the password should be 12345678. Right. Enable the hotspot along with data. So by using this uh, hotspot and data only the system will send the emails. Now switch on the kit. So it will take 15 to 20 seconds for initialization. Once the booting was successfully done, there will be a welcome message on the LCD screen and it will prompt us to instructions to follow that. So right, we have actually I forgot to uh, told you the interfacing from the R303 to the Raspberry Pi 0 to W. We have interfaced this at 14 and 15th pin. Right, we got the welcome message. So 14 and 15th pin. Why? Because remaining connections we can connect anywhere we want, but only this finger pin module is a communication of serial communication. You watch. So that will be uh, only at pin, pin number 14 and 15th pin of our Pi 0 to W. right now so it's waiting for the input it's asking for so let us format the total fingerprints so just hold the two buttons at a time till it will display the data erased now you can release the switches i'm repeating that hold these two switches at a time so when it shows the data erased then you can release the two buttons now store the fingerprints for that this s is for the storing purpose place the finger on the fingerprint module and press the button right until it shows the finger got stored at id number so as we discussed the first user is going to be the election officer he can vote and he can see the results right so finger stored it so next go with finger 2 
so for each finger store it will take maximum 5 to 10 seconds so like we can store the finger 3 if you have a test it will be test now right till it shows the message on the lcd like finger stored at the so called id number till that we should place the finger on the uh, fingerprint scanner we can store up to 5 users in this one and the first user is going to be the let us go with the fingerprint 4 the finger was not detected So if you place the finger again, it will prompt us fingerprint already stored. If you uh, place the stored fingerprint. So now for voting purpose, so let us see the first vote. Place the button and again it will find the my ID number. Okay, so then it will ask for the choose the party. So I will go with the party 1. So vote end for party 1. So if I place my uh, same person trying to vote again, so it will give the alert message like already vote got enrolled sorry it's going to the election officer one right yeah voter already polled so let us go with the two every time place the finger and select the option whether you want to store that particular finger or you want to vote 42 and next fingerprint 3 Right, and next fingerprint four. Right, so end all. Now let us see the results. Place the finger again. Oh, so one button. So when it uh, shows the oh polar already. When it shows my ID number, right? Hold this button, E button. Right. Now it is showing the messages. Welcome to election officer. And it will show the total uh, how many votes are got. And final winner is a party one. And the system will send the mail to the register email ID. So on the LCD display to show that, check the mail. So we got the mail now. The same results. Okay. Right. So just follow the steps for enrolling and voting purpose and form it also. Right.